Hello everyone, my name is kevguy 278 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. We just had a lesson from Amane about airplanes and we're going back to class now. The classroom, of course. You reap what you sow. I brought Katori with me against her wishes and we returned to the classroom. Aoi! I went back to the dormitory and someone called out to me when I was at the gate. Aoi! Anchan! When I saw who it was, my level of enthusiasm went up by 500%. Standing there was Anchan. I was thinking about going to see you tomorrow or someone. Anchan ruffles my hair. Hey, stop that, will ya? Completely ignoring my attempts to resist, Anchan gives me a noogie, grinding my hair round and round. And I think that my hair is probably messed up pretty badly now. This is Tatsuya. Igarashi, I Igarashi, commonly known as Anchan. He's a childhood friend of Agaha and mine, and is like a real big brother to us. He's much older than us, but we used to play together a lot as kids. Ah, oh, jeez, you're messing up my hair. Haha, <laughs> You haven't changed either, Anchan. Still the same as before. Oi, oi. Oh, isn't it? What Anchan says is true, but to me, I'd rather Anchan just stays the same as he is now. As I think about that, Anchan all of a sudden has a kind look on his face. Yeah, well, enough for everyday life. No big deal. I can have a normal life like this. On top of that, I had you there to watch me in the race where I tried the hardest. I came third though. In my previous school, I was in the cycle racing club. In the final race of the first grade, I was able to take the third place spot on the podium. It was my best result. For that race, Anchan traveled a long way to come and watch me. Yeah. Because of Anchan's kindness, I felt a little tearful. He sensed how I was feeling and started to mess up my hair again. This time, it wasn't so rough. Yeah. We used to play here a lot. We would come sneaking in. Hmm? Oh, that wasn't what Anchan was talking about just now. Someone was hiding in the shadow of the gate. A Tori. It looked like she couldn't get past because Anchan and I were in the way. She could have just spoke to us normally, but instead she was hiding and watching us. Dottori was still being cautious, but returned the greeting. Then we got out of her way, then went into her composed mode and entered the dormitory. <laughs> You know her? Uh, pedigree? There's a big dog that goes by that name. I'm sure it was a Saint Bernard. Was she by any chance trying to stroke his head? 
食い物をあげたりしてたんだがあの犬飼い主の餌以外食べないからな As I thought That was in the things I want to do list Shrug the head of the big dog in the neighborhood It's really scary but I might be unexpectedly friendly If possible I'd like to ride around on its back So she was skipping school to go and do things like that? Well, I'll forget about Katori for now. It's good to be back, Anchan. I seemed a little embarrassed as I answered, and Anchan grinned at me. Parting with those words, Anchan turns to leave. Oh, that's right, Anchan.、Hmm? I know this is a bit soon, but I have a favor to ask. I took the parts that Mani had left with me out of my bag. Along with it was a memo with the dimensions and so on written down. I need some parts the same as these. Would you be able to get one? Anchan's family r u n a, a factory. It's known as a town factory, and it seems that they manufacture special order made parts. Anchan works there right now. If Anchan can't do it, he might be able to use his connections with other engineers to introduce me to other factories. Anchan looks at the broken parts and the memo. He quickly answered. Thanks, Anchan. Anchan raised one hand and turned to leave. Thanks to the fact that I was able to meet Anchan, I went back to my room in a good mood. I put my hand on the saddle of the bicycle in the corner of my room. I'm proud to have been able to stand on the podium in front of a buddy like Anchan. Before I realized, Katori was next to me. What are you doing here? I hadn't realized. Do you want something? Without answering my question, Katori opened a drawer in the desk. It looks like she's searching for something. There was nothing that I didn't want her to see, so I was unfazed when I questioned her. What are you doing? I know, but shouldn't you at least get the consent of the owner of the room? Got what? Apparently, she was looking for the withdrawal notice that I had picked up before. I don't know what you're looking for, but I don't think it's in here. Did you say something? Seems like her search has come to a stop. However, Kotori isn't leaving the room and continues looking around the room. I don't have many things. Thanks to that, moving house was easy. Katori was staring straight at the bike, which gave off a unique presence in my room. I panicked at being asked so frankly. I. It's no big deal. Looks like she was listening to my conversation with Anchan. I just had a bit of an injury, but look, it's fine now. I lightly swing my leg to show her. It's fine, really. Why do you ask? There's no need for you to worry about it. Katori makes a straight face and goes back to her room. You're going again tomorrow, aren't you? To the garage at lunch. I'm not going. 
is what it felt like she was going to say. She answered in panic as she left my room. Looks like I should make three lunchboxes this time. Send the little wings which fly in the sky highly. Ah, I really enjoy this visual novel. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Today didn't go well either. Today's breakfast was another dismal failure. All the boarders showed their faces in the dining hall for breakfast, but the only one who finished her meal was Kanako. There must have been something wrong with it. All I had to do is make meals and clean. What a piece of cake. It's what I thought when I accepted the job as door mother. My confidence is gradually fading. You should probably listen to Agaha. What do you want? Masatsugu, joining me on the way to school, went out of his way to come and sling verbal abuse. A few things happen at the dormitory. Dealing with girls can be tough. Yeah, yeah. Isn't she a freshman at Seisen Girls School? They send girls high school. They school for rich girls and is famous even in this neighborhood. The uniform has a reputation for being cute, so fans come from far and wide just to take a look. He looks like he's about to show me, so I go along with it. Whoa, seriously, she's cute. Marble, you can play guitar? Da -da -da -da, he goes as he shows off some great air guitar. Anyway, who the hell is Yingwei? Yeah, I was. What about it? Yeah, I don't do it anymore. Masatsugu's face seemed to say, It's got nothing to do with me, though. Did you hear that from Anchan? And maybe go a bit red. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Don't get so flustered. No, I didn't know. I never thought that I would make it to the podium. Even if I knew, it was too far away for me to say, Come and watch me. Same goes for both of us. Besides, I send you a New Year card every year, didn't I? You did the same thing. Anyway, your New Year cards usually arrive at the end of January. Hi, Agaha. Masatsugu was sneakily hiding in my shadow. Jokingly, Aga deliberately keeps her distance from Masatsugu as she walks. Masatsugu comes up beside me and gives me a little poke in the ribs. What thing? Okay, I got it. Is it the sort of thing that needs to be kept a secret? Okay, I got it. 
誰がこんなやつだペペ You gross, you don't have to actually spit. <laughs> なんかいいね。焼けちゃうわ。バカアギハアギハアギハ ?That what he said? Yeah, don't say weird things like that. Lunch time. Everyone, thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. I'll see you guys in the next video that I make. Goodbye.